Hi, everyone. About a minute on the power of power density. That's the title of my latest piece on Substack. I'll cut to the chase. Why are offshore wind projects being canceled? And a lot of them are being canceled, both here in the U.S. and in, in Europe. And the answer is simple. They have low power density. And anything, any source, any energy production method that has low power density has high resource intensity. That's the iron law of power density. Uh, offshore wind projects require 13 times more metals and minerals than natural gas fired power plants. Well, why does that matter? It's because when you require 13 times more metal, more copper, more molybdenum, uh, zinc, these are all key ingredients in offshore wind. And those products, those commodities are going up in price. Add in inflation and labor, and it's no surprise at all that offshore wind projects are being canceled. Low power density is the wrong way to go. My article is a response to an article that Paul Krugman wrote in the New York Times on August 7th. Um, he claimed, you know, made these bogus claims that, oh, renewables have changed the game and it's all, all gain, no pain, and we just need to embrace solar and wind. And you've heard this before. But there wasn't a single number in Krugman's piece. Here's the Nobel Prize winner in economics doesn't include a single number, a single fact about wind and solar. Well, he's ignoring the iron law of power density. The lower the power density, the higher the resource intensity. That explains why offshore wind projects are being canceled. It also explains why we are seeing so much backlash, so much resistance all around the world to wind and solar projects. It's because they require a lot of land. That's another resource. So if you have low power density, you have to counteract it with other inputs, steel, copper, land, concrete, etc. That's the iron law of power density. You can find it on my Substack. It's called uh, The Power of Power Density. Check it out. RobertBryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.